Harpers, this is Carol Coppice with something for you to think about. We all know that our hands and how we use them are important to us as Harpers, but what about this? What about your head and what's going on inside of your head? Years ago, I found that no matter how well I played or how much I accomplished as a Harper, I never felt like it was really quite enough. One day, Kim Robertson said to me, it's always good enough, and it can always get better. I found that so inspiring. I wrote that down, and I stuck it on my music stand, and I read it from time to time to help calm those doubts and fears that are always swirling around in my head. Pretty soon, more quotes appeared, and before long, my music stand looked like a porcupine. There it is. Huh? Uh, as more and more quotes appeared, and I, I read them often. I do, to this day, read them often. I find them really helpful in, in calming those nagging doubts and fears, those insecurities when they pop up. Here are a few of them for you. Jane Fonda, sometimes good enough is good enough. Wayne Gretzky, my favorite hockey player, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. Bob Ross, don't be afraid to go out on a limb. That's where the fruit is. Deborah Henson Conant, don't do more, hide less. Goethe, everything is difficult until it is easy. John Wooten, don't let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. George Adair, everything you want is on the other side of fear. So if you'd like my little collection of quotes to try it out, to strengthen your resolve, calm your doubts and fears, and move more confidently towards your goals as a harper, uh, there's a link in this video where you can access uh, a lot of these quotes. I hope these will help you to manage the mental side of being a harper, as it has me. And I wish you much happy harping.